guys, good morning. Hope everyone has a wonderful Monday. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another throw photo challenge. This throw photo challenge is week five. It is a black and white challenge. So this morning went out, uh, me and my wife, we were heading out to go get breakfast this morning. We were kind of in a rush to meet some people. And as we go outside, I still haven't shot this video. Now mind you, today is Sunday. It is the day before this video is to go live. So it's going to live tomorrow morning. And I knew I had to get the video shot today. So I wanted to go out and shoot some photos this afternoon. Well, as I walked out this morning, it was so foggy. It was so wonderful that I was like, you know what? I need to get out and take a photo real quick before we go. Because I kind of think it fits what a black and white shot is. And I'll get to that here in a second. So I went out, grabbed the, ran, ran inside, grabbed the camera, went out, snapped about 15 photos. Didn't have time to grab the camera and set up a vlog because we were heading out the door, but I wanted to make sure I grabbed that photo this morning, so that's what I did. So just got back about an hour ago, finally had time to sit down and go over the photos and see what we got. So not much B-roll as far as taking the shot today. So again, this is going to be focused on the edit, as well as I wanted to discuss here before we start into the edit on what makes a great black and white photo. The idea behind black and white, why is that such an iconic thing? So. Black and white photos is so important for multiple reasons. Number one, it kind of creates a very timeless type of photo. If you have a shot where colors are mismatching, kind of like in my office right now, can't tell right now because I've created the photo, this video in black and white to kind of go with the theme, but I've got a really yellow light here, a really white light behind me, so there's really green walls with black of the acoustic panels. That really, really, really sets a really confusing type of lighting scheme. So black and white is really good when you have multiple different colors going um, that really don't make anything, doesn't really add anything to the video or photo. So black and white is really good for that as well. Another thing that I think black and white is great for is setting mood. And that's what this vid, that's what this photo that we're gonna create today is so great at doing. It, it, it really adds, because of the fog this morning, I think creating a black and white photo of the fog will really make it very moody of a photo. And that's what we're going for today. All right, so let's go ahead and move over into Lightroom here and let's take a look at the photos we got and see what we can do with them. Alrighty guys, and that's how I got my photo. So once again, as you can see, my black and white photo is gonna be right here. And Rookser, I have had an opportunity to see his photo. It's a nice Altoid shot with a nice black and white, and his photo again is right here. Don't forget to leave a comment in either one of our videos or on the Instagram, at throwphoto. Once the video goes live, you'll see the photos there. Go ahead and vote on which photo you think is the best. And yeah, so on Sunday at 9 p.m., we are gonna do the live stream once again for this black and white challenge. Don't forget to attend that so you could see who officially won, see the loser complete some sort of small consequence challenge, as well as we'll critique each other's photos, critique your photos, and we will prepare and go over some news topics of the week. As always, guys, don't forget to leave a comment in the description of whose photo you think is the best. Let me know why you guys chose that photo or on Instagram, we're on Rooksers photo. It all works the same way, but just make sure you guys are leaving a comment. That's the only way the votes are going to tally. And if you guys have a submission you'd like to make for a black and white challenge, don't forget to submit those on Instagram at throw photo and using the hashtags throw photo or throw photo challenge. But anyway, guys, I know it's a pretty quick video here today. I didn't have a ton of time. I apologize. I've uh, been really crazy with the job switch and a lot of other things going on, so I apologize. But hopefully we'll get back on track next week. As always, guys, thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for supporting the channel, and we'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye.